I don't know. I thought that was you. No, I'm up on the stairs. <gasps> Come look at me. Oh my god. Hey guys, it's Matty Ice, and we are doing something incredibly different today. I don't know how you guys feel about ghosts and spirits, but watch this video and then tell me what you think. Hi, Daddy. Where is she? Huh? Do you see her? Where'd she go? Huh? Where'd she go? Right here. Here. I'll show you. Oh, she went outside. Okay. As you guys heard, um, Audrey actually said hello. And when she said hello, she was saying hello to a uh, Gabby. Now, Gabby just randomly came about like a week ago when we were, you know, just at home. And all of a sudden, um, you know, Audrey comes up to me out of nowhere and says that Gabby, and she's going on and on about Gabby or Gabby Gabby. And I'm not, you know, I'm not paying attention that much. I'm trying to do stuff, getting ready for the week. And it's a Sunday night at like 7.30, so I'm like, Okay, Gabby must be one of the girls at school. Okay, fine. And then all of a sudden I, I say, so is Gabby one of the girls at school? And she's like, no. She just shakes her head no. And I was like, well, where's Gabby? And she said, she died, our home. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, you said what? And Square just stops dead in her tracks, what she's doing, and just looks at Audrey like she's possessed and I don't blame her. I had the same reaction. It was totally creepy It's like the you know poltergeist they're here And it just totally creeped me out and I thought maybe she's just you know I misunderstood her and I was like well, you know Are you sure Gabby doesn't go to school? No, she's not a friend. No, she's not a teacher. No Well, where did you meet Gabby? and she says the basement and she looked towards the stairs and oh god it, i mean it gives me chills just thinking about it <laughs> it's it's the perfect setup for one of these horror movies we've lived in this house we don't really know much about the past it's not that old a house it was built in the 70s but oh goodness if there's like a one of those little girl demon spirits and i'm actually in the basement right now i'm it's during the daytime i want to show you guys what's going on so i mean here's the basement we've got you know my tools over here and then We've got uh, my inversion table, and that's the inversion table that Audrey looked at in the video when she said, Gabby, hi, you know, or hi, Gabby, whatever it was. We've got all of our stuff for our bathroom project that's going on over here. Um, just more storage behind me, cushions, and then we'll uh, flip you over this way. We've got uh, just more storage over here, stuff that we're waiting to send to a storage unit. And this cabinet right here, it's just... You know, we usually keep it closed because there's only one door and there's not really much you can do because it like sticks. But in here there's nothing. There's just like toilet paper and like Christmas decorations. Nope, as you can see, that door doesn't even shut all the way. As you go over here, this is just a very small powder room. Nothing in here. Back here it's just a door. Like I said, there's there's nothing in here. In that video, you saw Audrey just come over here and all of a sudden she's all, you know, she went outside and she wants to go outside and I was like, oh goodness, oh goodness, no. We never mentioned Gabby, we don't know a Gabby, so I'm just a little bit befuddled myself. So, uh, I set up Audrey's baby monitor because there's infrared night vision. Um, None of my other cameras have IR vision. I have something I should probably get into if I, you know, start making this ghost hunting. And, you know, what we want to do is dispel Gabby. I talked to one of my friends at work, if you're watching, Miss Dia. Uh, hi. Uh, thanks for all the advice. So we, uh, you know, talked to her about it. And she's like, you know, get that energy out of your house and tell them to get out and leave your baby alone. And I was like, you know, I kind of agree. I'm creeped out sufficiently. Let's go upstairs and show you guys the stuff we're going to be using during tonight's uh, hunt. Uh, it's more of a, you know, cleansing ceremony, I guess is what you'd refer to it. We don't want to, you know, just document um, some type of supernatural, spiritual, whatever. I mean, guys, I, I don't necessarily believe in ghosts and spirits and things of that nature. I do believe there are things in this world that we can't explain with science that maybe, you know, go beyond the bounds of what's normal into what's considered to be supernatural. I don't know the reasons why these things happen, nor do I pretend to. But, uh, no, I want to try and find something, you know. I think it's 
interesting enough, and nothing like this has ever happened to me before. And when I was a kid, I used to joke about, you know, this uh, little joke that we had with my brother and my family that we had a dead uh, relative named uh. Kevin who was buried in the backyard. And we used to tease my younger brother Connor about Kevin being buried in the walls of the house and stuff, and we buried chicken bones once. It was pretty funny, you know. It, it's just, you know, even today we mentioned Kevin. <laughs> it's a it's a good laugh, but uh, what we've got here are some uh, Virgin of uh, Guadalupe uh, candles. One white, one red. The white one will be our inside candle, and then the red one will mark the outside because we want this spirit entity, whatever it is, um, to go outside of our house and leave. Then we've got now you, you might laugh. These are rose petal sage um, smudge wands or smudge sticks. I've used these in Phasmophobia a couple times, so I thought they looked kind of cool. Um, they're also at TJ Maxx. They're only like six bucks on clearance, but yeah, you just, um, you know, the sage is said to have properties to help cleanse energy on here to show you guys what's going on because, as you can see, there's a view of the basement. It's got a view of pretty much the whole basement, and as I showed you guys, there's nothing in that bathroom back there. We're going to open that back door. And then from that part, we're going to have um, red candle outside, and I'm going to start smudging, and I'm going to then, I looked up some, like, chants, or I don't know what, what you'd call them, some, you know, they're almost like poems that you're supposed to recite when you want to get rid of a spirit or an entity that's um, inside your house and cleanse the energy. So we're going to use those, and we're going to direct the spirit to, you know, leave us alone. Have you seen Gabby lately, baby? Gabby, wake. She's awake? Where is she? Hey, Gabby, sleep. Oh, she's sleeping. Is she tired? Yes. Is she still in the basement? Yes. Oh, okay, that's good. You know when Gabby's going to wake up? A Monday. Okay, so we got a little bit of luck on our side, guys. Uh, she won't be awake until tomorrow morning, so maybe I can catch her while she's asleep and get the drop on her. All right, guys, we will come back when it's dark and we will uh, start getting rid of this energy in our house. And I do have some candles. These are the, you know, Guadalupe candles. I'm going to put the red one outside, as I said, and that's going to be our beacon to banish towards. And then I'm going to have the white one inside as protection. Here's the red candle. We will light her up right now. Okay. There's the red candle, if this will focus. There we go. Okay, and now we're gonna go back upstairs. I'll bring the white candle back down with me, but we will leave this open so I can just open it back up when we come back up. All right, guys, so we're gonna head downstairs. I've got all my stuff, and I'm also gonna bring along for the ride a little, uh, this is my digital thermometer, so we'll be able to read some temps real quick, and then we'll, you know, get on with it. But if you see the, um, reflections at the bottom of the door. I put the red candle outside as you saw, so that's nothing, and I'm sure that's what the reflection up top is too, so we will uh, get on with it. I'll head down there, I'll turn off the lights, and then I'm gonna light up my candle. put our white protection candle right down here to discourage anything from coming around. So let's do a couple readings real quick for temperature. Far side of the room, 67 degrees, as you can see, 67. Over by the door, also 67. Far side of the room, 69. Floor right where I'm standing, 66.9, so about 67. Cabinets over here, 66.9. 
ceiling 67. So temperatures are all normal. We're not getting anything crazy there. It is good to, you know, verify that though. I've always wanted to do that. Okay, so since we've got our white protection candles, we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm not gonna screw around walking around. But first things first, we're gonna open the door because what we wanna do with the smudging process is guide the spirit outside. And I did learn through my internet research there is a bit of a difference between a spirit and a ghost. A spirit is like uh, something that is going to be part of, I don't know, like a person who didn't move on, whereas a ghost is just something that repeats over and over again. So ghosts will do the same thing, like run down a hallway all day long, whereas a spirit is going to, you know, wind up, you know, just being all over the place. So a little bit of everything. All right, open the door up. Uh, there's our candle. Looks good so far. Okay, so let's go over here and let's get our smudge stick. And we're just going to go around the room real quick. We're not gonna do anything crazy. All right. And I apologize if I'm not doing smudging correctly. I don't know <laughs> what this is. I mean, this is from TJ Maxx. This is not like legit ghost hunting stuff. This is like some, you know, like discount Wiccan stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool though. I mean, it looks just like it does in Phasmophobia. Oh, it doesn't smell so great. It smells like really bad incense. Okay. There we go. Give it a couple waves. And I did clear everything out. We're cleansing the negative energy in here. All negative energies are unwelcome in this home. They are unwelcome with my family. Negative energy. We banish thee from these premises. With this cleansing sage, we ban thee. You are no longer welcome here. You must move along. You must find somewhere else. Okay. And we ended with our smudge stick right at the entrance to the room. We'll do this a couple of times. And I'll go around because, uh, from what Audrey had said, basement was where she believed it was. And now we will just push that out real quick on the floor. Okay, so now I do have a little, it's like a little, I found this like incantation online. You're supposed to read it to do the banishing. I'm gonna need the candlelight to see this. Okay, I'll try and let you guys see that. I wrote it down, but. I call upon the powers far and near to banish and cast out what is unwelcome in this home. By these candles, I banish thee. By this sage, I banish thee. I banish thee, unwelcome one, with this charge. I banish thee unwanted things away be gone and shall you never return never return you are unwelcome now if our enchantment was successful or whatever you want to call it we have caused the negative energy to exit to the door to the red candle which is still going there so everything's looking good you know this was you know i was a little bit freaked out i gotta admit being down here, it was kind of scary. <laughs> but even though it's just, you know, my basement, it's it's kind of freaky um, dealing with this stuff. So uh, I was glad that we got to do this. It's a lot of fun. Um, actually, I, I kind of like to do this again. I don't ever want to deal with uh, energy again like this before. I mean, it's fine when it's a movie, but it's when, when it's your kid, it's like different. Okay, so since we banished the spirit, we want the red candle to now be out so they find their own place and now we close the door symbolizing that we have closed this chapter of the spirits presence in this home we will keep our white candle lit at the bottom of the stairs for a while just for precautionary sake if you will so uh, let's go back upstairs and 
Now let's close this up and let's see if Square saw anything. Square's been watching on the baby monitor, so I'm curious to see if she saw anything or not while we were, you know, doing all this. Oh, as I accidentally bump into stuff. All right, now I can't find my thermometer. Yep, oh, there we go. I don't know. I thought that was you. No, I'm up on the stairs. <gasps> Come look at me. Oh my god. I'm up on. I mean, I stopped recording on my phone. Well. <sighs> okay, guys, update. Um, so I turned off my phone because I figured we were done. We we're just gonna go upstairs and talk about it and say, you know. It was interesting, you know, spirits are gone, we cleansed, cool. As I'm walking up the stairs, I hear something go clang on the floor. And... Do you see anything square on the camera? I don't see anything. All right, let's set our stuff down and... Oh. There's an Allen wrench over here. I didn't see an Allen wrench over here earlier. I mean, it's possible that I left it on the floor. Like I said, we've been doing renovations, but that's just creepy timing. Uh, what is that? Okay, so we are going to leave our protection candle here. And we're moving on to plan Z because now, now I'm freaking out a little bit. All right, I'm going to keep this going until I'm upstairs so I don't get freaking, I don't know, Jason Voorhees or something. All right. All right. So as I was um, down there, I got a ghost orb right in front of it on my camera. That's so what I was like, what was that? <laughs> so we're putting down some protection salt because uh, Manny Ice is a bit freaked out right now. I don't think I left this on the floor, but I mean, it's possible I did. I mean, we're gonna have to watch it back again and see if it dropped. I just see flick, like the flickers yeah, of the, the candle, flickers that's the candle. all. All right, guys, I'm going to go back down there, and I'm going to film on my camera. We're going to put down some salt. This is just uh, salt. Spirits do not like salt. It's a cleansing kind of thing. Okay, so I'm putting my sandals back on. Here's my natural salt. Okay, let's go down here. All right, we are back at the area. And we are putting down a line of salt. Spirit, if you are here, you are no longer welcome. You will leave. This negative energy is not welcome. My family does not welcome you. This sacred salt shall be a barrier and a message to leave. You are unwelcome. You shall leave and not return okay so i put down a line of salt and then we have our sacred candle so we got kind of like a double but i'm looking here i don't see anything that's the ir sensor so like i said i think that might have just been coincidental that we saw something but uh, that didn't freak me out a little bit i'm a little bit uh you know amped up to this stuff right now okay Let's uh let's head back upstairs and see if Square saw anything when we put down the salt line.
There's flying things. Unless if it's a bug. Some of them are bugs, you can tell looking at them. Like you'll see like something fly a little bit towards the camera. I mean, the only way to tell would be like in a regular pattern. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so that was me, you know, cleansing the negative energy, spirit, whatever you want to call it, from my basement that my daughter had, as you saw, you know, produced a name for. So we don't know what it was. I don't know if there was something there, if there wasn't. I mean, at the end of the day, I'd like to believe my daughter's telling the truth, but who knows? At that age, it could be anything, but I'd rather not take a chance, you know, that it's there's negative energy in the home. I'd like to cleanse it, and it was kind of interesting learning about it. There's actually, you know, quite a bit, as I was saying earlier, uh, my friend Dia at work explained a whole lot about spirits to me, and I, you know, I kind of believe her. There's, there's some supernatural things in this world that we just can't explain, and I don't know what they are. I don't have that answer. I'm not trying to find that answer. I was just documenting my little journey there, and, um... You know, I don't, I don't know what happened there at the end. There was that clang. I mean, it's possible I left a tool on the floor, but I don't know. It was, um, there wasn't a tool there earlier, and I did not, you know, I was already up the stairs by that point. I mean, Square saw me. I was on the landing when that clang came. So I got some weird aberrations on, on my, uh, you know, cell phone camera. So I wish it would have had, like, an electronic voice recorder so I could have done that and you know but I'm not looking to communicate with anything I'm looking to get rid of whatever's here uh, and banish permanently so I was not looking to open up a conversation or a dialogue with something and potentially make it worse so that's gonna do it for this one guys thank you very much for watching and as always have a good night